Hello, welcome to Node Spaghetti. I've got a big update to share with you today. The Deformer update. Got five new nodes for you. Mesh Deform, Smooth Deform, Surface Deform, Lattice, and Lattice Deform. Those two, goes, those two go together. So first, let's take a look at Mesh Deform. Uh, here we've got a Mesh Deform cage, and you'll notice that the meshes inside of the cage aren't staying together. Better generate it first, actually. Um, and when we generate it, uh, you'll notice that it's kind of slow. And in fact, it takes 15 seconds to bind both of these objects to the Mesh Deform cage. So if you ever find that this is too slow to work with, you can turn off live updates and then you can work on your tree and then you can execute the node tree that way. Or you can uh, you can also just mute the uh, the deformer and then when it updates the tree, it won't bind it. But anyways, once it is bind, uh, uh, bound, you'll notice that the, both of the meshes follow the shape of the mesh deform cage and you can pose the character freely. You'll notice also here that the face isn't following it and that the mesh deform cage is kind of screwed up over here where the head is. That's because I didn't bother to paint weights on that part because I'm using the armature itself on the face of the character. And I've got them uh, blending here with this vertex group, the bone cage mix. And you can see the mesh deform node has got a vertex group and an invert vertex group. And the armature deform has got the vertex group also. That means that I can use the armature for this nice uh, face rig. And I can you know, control the like, smile on the mouth. And I can control the eyebrows and the eyes. See? And it, it just works. Uh, so our uh, mesh deform is a separate object that becomes like a cage. And you, of course, you, you, uh, you, you can deform this other object however you want to. In this case, I'm using the armature which is the way you're usually going to see it done. So that brings us to the smooth deform. One of the things you'll notice here is that the mouth, when it deforms, stays pretty uh, smooth in terms of its like its wireframe. If I turn off the smooth deformer, you can see what that does. It, it, it uh, makes it a little bit less smooth. <laughs> and uh, I'm using a vertex group to control this one also, which I'll show you. Smooth. And um, it's, it's a corrective smooth deformer if you've ever used that in Blender. So it's got all the same features, and you can turn off corrective smooth uh, smoothing and just use regular smoothing. You can change the factor. You can use simple or length weighted uh, pin boundary. All that stuff is supported and it'll update when you click on it, just like you're seeing here. Um, I've already shown you how the eyebrows stay on the character when I move the character geometry. And this is a separate mesh here that's using a surface to form. Our surface to form node takes a target, which in this case is our character's body. And then you can set fall off and strength and, and you can bind it. And, uh, and Mantis will do all that for you automatically now. Finally, we have a lattice to form. And and I'm using a lattice to deform the hair using this armature. So um, let's take a look at our nodes over here, because this one probably bears the most explanation. Our lattice geometry node plugs into a geometry object node, which plugs into a lattice deform, which plugs into a uh, into the hair object. In this case, this is a node group that creates the hair object. The lattice object also gets an armature deform, which is plugged into this secondary deform uh, chain right here. And I've got this lattice deform rig just so that the automatic weights are applied using these eight or nine bones instead of all the bones in this rig. And these guys just copy their transforms from these controllers. So the result is that we can have this wiggle control on the hair. Now, you'll notice that we're using an armature to form to move the lattice around. Uh, one nice feature that I've set up here is, check this out, um, <laughs> our lattice uses weight painted vertices to control the armature to form. Now, if you've ever tried to weight paint a lattice before, you'll know that it's an absolute pain. So I've gone ahead and created a very simple um, automatic weighting uh, feature, which should be sufficient for most of your needs. And uh, obviously, I can continue to improve it now that I've got sort of a basic structure for it. But um, I find that it's pretty much good enough for doing this sort of thing and uh, I'm looking forward to figuring out how to do other things with it too and uh, so those are the new five nodes let me know what you think let me know what other nodes and other improvements you are looking forward to um, I've got a, a list a mile long of things I want to add already but I don't mind uh, adding more and I certainly could use the uh, the poke on, on the things that I haven't added yet because if I'm sure there's stuff that a lot of y'all really want that I just haven't done yet. So <laughs> go ahead and let me know and uh, leave that in the comments and uh, make sure to join the Discord community. Follow me on X, uh, on Instagram, I guess. And um, you know what else? You should also go to my Gumroad page and download my component pack, which I'm using here in this video to demonstrate this character. And uh, what else? you should also join my Patreon. So uh, <laughs> that way I keep continuing to make updates to the add-on. 
and make them available for everyone. I am still trying to recover the money I spent on the plane tickets to go to the Blender Conference, and between the passport and the plane tickets and the uh, uh, like the uh, with the conference ticket, I want to earn a little bit. A job, let's, let's say two thousand dollars. So that's like twenty sales of the component pack. Let's make it happen. Um, I didn't do the math, but anyways, uh, that's the video. Thank you all so much. Uh, let's keep continuing to make Blender better for uh, character pipelines and riggers and everybody else. Uh, thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.